Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. In this video, we are going to be diving into long division with whole numbers and single digit divisors. You may have no idea what a single digit divisor is, that's fine, you will know by the end of this video. And your number one goal by the end of those four problems on your screen is to have a better understanding of the long division process because after you master single digit divisors you'll jump into double digit and then dividing decimals as long as you have the division process down you can solve any type of division problem there is okay so let's hop down to number one here and I suggest writing these problems out with me I think that'll be beneficial rather than just staring at the screen and listening to me go through these, but it's up to you. So the first thing we need to do is set up the problem so we can solve it. And our problem is 639 divided by three. Now that 639 is what we call the dividend. It's what we are dividing up here and I'll spell it out. D-I-V-I-D-E-N-D, -I -I -D -D, dividend. It's what we are splitting up. And then divisor is what we call that three. It's how many groups we are splitting 639 up into. Okay, how many groups we're splitting it into. So single digit divisor is gonna be, you know, that outside number. All of these will have a single digit divisor. So the first thing we wanna do when we have a long division problem is we wanna divide. We look at the first number here in 639, the six, and we ask ourselves, well, six divided by three. How many groups of three can we pull out of six? And the answer is two. And then we multiply this two by the three. Two times three is six. Then we subtract, six minus six is zero. And then we bring down and start that process over again. So our process was divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Sorry, my C and subtract looks like an O, that's a C though. And then we repeat the process. So we are on the repeat step. So we need to do three divided by three. How many groups of three are in three? And the answer to that is one. Now we multiply, one times three is three. Subtract, we get zero, bring down our nine, and then repeat. So nine divided by three, or how many groups of three are in nine? Well, three, six, nine, three. Three times three is nine. Subtract, and we get a zero. Now we went all the way over to our lowest place value, which is the ones place, and we don't have anything left to bring down, and this zero tells us remainder of zero, we are done. Our quotient is 213, and quotient means answer to a division problem. Now that might have seemed very confusing and a lot of steps there, but just take a look at these steps when you get stuck, okay? and you will get it down with practice. The biggest thing to mastering this is doing problems and practicing. So let's go to number two. 525 is our dividend and five is our divisor. Well, divide first, five divided by five is one. One times five is five. Subtract, bring down. Now this is something a little different here. We have a two divided by five. How many groups of five can we make or pull out a two? Well, we can't, so we need to put a zero here. Zero times five is zero. Subtract, we get a two, bring down that five. Now we have a 25. Um, 25 divided by five is five. Five times five, 25. Subtract, we get zero. Went all the way over, nothing else to bring down. 105 is our answer with a remainder of zero. So number three, we have a four digit dividend and a single digit or one digit divisor. So let's look at the one here. We need to do one divided by six, which we cannot do. So we need to look at the 16. How many groups of six can we pull out of 16? Well, six, 12, 18, Three was too many, so it's just two. 
And the 2 needs to go above the 16, not above the 1, above the 16. Everything needs to line up here. 2 times 6 is 12. Subtract, we get 4. Bring down the 7. How many groups of 6 out of 47? So you have to think of your 6 multiplication facts or count up by 6s to get as close as, to 47 as you can without going over. So how many groups of 6 out of 47? Well, 6 times 6 is 36. 6 times 7 is 42. 6 times 8 is 48. 8 would be a little bit too high. So it's just going to be a 7. 42 is as close as we can get. 7 times 6 is 42. Subtract, we get 5. Bring down the 2. So 52 divided by 6. Well, we just said 6 times 8 is 48. 6 times 9 is 54. 9 was too much, so it's an 8 here. 8 times 6 is 48. Subtract, we're left with a 4. Now, there's nothing left to bring down. We're all done with our process. This 4 down there is what we call the remainder. It is what is left over after we've split 1,672 into 6 groups. Each group will have 278. And then there's 4 left over. It didn't divide out perfectly into a whole number. 4 were left over. And that's okay. Number 4. 972 divided by 7. So we start with 9 divided by 7. How many groups of 7 are in 9? Well, 1. 1 times 7 is 7. Subtract, we get 2. Bring down the 7. How many groups of 7 out of 27? Well, 7, 14, 21, 28. 4, a little bit too many, so only 3 7s. 3 times 7 is 21. Subtract, we get 6. Bring down that 2. So we have to think of our 7 facts. Well, 7 times 7 is 49, but we can get a lot closer than that. 7 times 8, 56. 7 times 9, 63. So 8 is as close as we can get. 8 times 7 is 56. Subtract, we get a remainder of 6. So 138 remainder 6. So that's the long division process. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, repeat. And like I said, it is confusing at first, but with practice you'll get it down. So if you're ready to try some on your, try some on your own, I'll see you over at the Mastery Check. Or if you want to work through more problems with me, you can go over the Mastery Check, try some, and then Check your answers with mine to see where you're making your mistakes or where you are getting held up. Thanks for watching. 